What is up guys, Everblades Gaming here with some Nexomon Extinction. Um, I'm a little late on this one. It came out at like the end of August. I want to say August 28th was its release date. And I for some reason was thinking that the end of September was when this game was going to come out. So I'm a little late on recording these and putting these out. But I needed some new content for the channel to hold you guys over until the next Pokemon DLC comes out. So here we are. And if you guys are wondering what Nexomon is, it's kind of like a... I'll say like a an interesting version of Pokemon. I mean, they they switched up um, they switched up like mm. how to capture Pokemon or Nexomon and all that stuff. Together so these are creatures that evolve, you can catch, and all that Nexomon. stuff. Together we have risen against. Every I think it's cool that they have this voice acting in like the beginning of it. This world is built over millennia of friendship, loyalty. Nexamon had a merciless king. Jeez, that looks pretty Omicron dope. Omicron was his accursed name. This monstrosity led his brethren into a grand crusade against all of mankind. And as such, the Nexamon scourge tried to eradicate us into oblivion. But we stood strong. And a group of brave heroes found See, these, these characters Spartan look like, uh, well, at least the artwork for them. Make them look like a YouTube parody video or something for Pokemon. We were able to slay the king of monsters, oh, that robot one looks pretty legit. Kind of looks Every like, um, looks like Wally. Omnicron's legacy is now buried. Nothing. But a sad whisper remains. Finally free from his shackles, the Nexamon had become our companions for life. Our world, our people, and our future were set towards a bright. Just remembered I needed to turn off my alarm. But that day never came. Uh -oh. The true age of extinction. See, I'll say the music's pretty dope too. It's like not too strong, not too, not too soft. It's like very, very calm. Ah, look at this too. Tell me, what was your name again? It's your boy Blades. Hmm, Blades, is it? Yes, yes, indeed. For those of you that are not new to the channel, uh, I'm pretty sure you're wondering what the heck is going on with the webcam, by the way. I bought a webcam, uh, my friend and I plan on streaming, and yeah, we both was like, yeah, we got PCs now, so, well, strong PCs, so why not just record ourselves, like, with a webcam now? It'll, it'll probably be best for us, so, here I am. Oh, there you are, look. Right there, you're in that airship. <laughs> why <laughs> why we look like we ready to die <laughs> yep that's you or is it so one thing I found cool about this game is that you get to select through various avatars on who you want to play as like this one by far is probably like my favorite one this yellow yellow blue white one but I'm gonna go with this dude right here just I don't know I just resonate with him a little bit he looked like he a little tinkerer or something so let's go Oh, don't worry, lad. Things are going to be just fine. Okay. <laughs> Things are just fine, but <laughs> we got this massive monster of destruction here. I, I can't believe my eyes. How did it come to this? Why is this happening? Blades, that boy betrayed us all. I betrayed us. <laughs> Everything we have built, everything we've been fighting for, such raw power, such absolute wickedness. The end of days is upon us. What is that with his name? Amelie? Amelie? Amelie! Amelie! Amelie, we must retreat now, it's not worth it. Shut it, Edward. 
Listen to me and listen well. If we are to save our planet, blades must be annihilated. Already? Stand with me, tall and proud, against the face of evil. Our people will rise as blades falls. Okay, that sounds pretty legit. I'm glad I put in blades now. <laughs> I will never forgive you. You've doomed us all, Blades, you accursed brat. Dang, why I gotta be a brat? Like, what I do? I just showed up. <laughs> I'm new to the scene, y'all. I knew it. Oh, hi, Nora. What are you doing here, Blades? Today's the big day. You do know what today is, right? Uh, of course. Of course I do. I know everything. So what are you waiting for? We are about to become real tamers. Don't mess this up. The others are already outside. Blades, hurry up. Go get some supplies from the storage room, if you can even remember where that is. <laughs> Ma'am, I am like a pro when it comes to navigation. So I wanted to show you guys something pretty cool. Um, so if you guys don't like the avatar you end up choosing, you just know you can always go back and change it up. Like you get like this emo dude right here. Uh, I actually, I think that looks pretty legit. It's like kind of like a combination of my favorite colors. But you can change up who, you, like, what your avatar you want to use throughout like the, the game if you're not liking how you look. So that's pretty neat. Uh, you can also change your name. Maybe you misspelled your name. You don't like how your name sounds in like all the dialogue, and then you can change your follower, which I'm guessing is just gonna be like the next Omon. So let's just get started on our journey. We're gonna pick up these coins. All this shiny stuff is like stuff you can interact with. <laughs> gotta gotta hurry see I like the I like the ambiance that they have out here hmm looking for something blades if you see anything shiny approach it and press the a button to inspect it more often than not you will find a useful item you found an elixir okay a potion and an ether Ho oh, ho, I see that someone's super eager to become a tamer. I'll have to restock the storage room. Leave some potions for your fellow adventurers, Blades. My fault, bro. My fault. Ah, there's the other kids, and I guess it was supposed to be like the professors or something. You found a revive. See, but the thing about, like, old girl right there, she was in that cutscene that was saying, like, we gotta get rid of Blades. So, if, th if that was, like, in the future, we must be and like the past or the start of our journey so we can understand how we got to where they want to destroy us now so we'll see one two three only three kids this year hold on a second there's supposed to be a fourth brat i'm sure that he's on his way why are we waiting for blades we're wasting time calm down ross patience is the tamer's greatest virtue you just made that up okay coco and Coco had the squints too. Coco's like, we are waiting. Period. P -p -p period. Meet with your friends. Okay, that was my that's my Google <laughs> Google Home just going. I hope you guys didn't hear that. <laughs> it has a nice range, but funny enough, whenever I really need to use it, it doesn't like activate to my voice. Whenever I'm just randomly talking, that's when Google Home wants to be like, "Hey, do you need assistance?" Wonderful. Blades graces us with his presence. No problem, bro. Mentor. Let's get this over with, Amelie. 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 I'm gonna go with that. I don't know how it's supposed to be pronounced, but Amelie sounds like it flows off the tongue better. Alright then. Greetings, children. My name is Amelie, and I represent the Tamers Guild. Every year we select a number of youngsters to become Nexomon Tamers and join our ranks. This will be the turning point of your life, and I am here to ensure your success. But we need to have our own Nexomon to register, right? As is our tradition, yes. The Northern Woods are an ideal place to acquire your very first companion. You have until midnight. I'll fetch you from the woods once the time is up. You're sending a bunch of kids into the woods until midnight. Okay, Coco's already my favorite. Y'all, let me know if Coco's also your favorite. Fret not, nothing can happen in this ancient forest. 
All right, you clearly have never played an RPG before. Ooh, they, they broke the fourth wall. You'll be fine for Ozar's sake. Who's Ozar? Go, the clock is ticking. All right, so now we get to go work on getting our first Nexomon. All right, so here's the plan. Unlike normal people, Coco can use his sense of smell to track any Nexomon for us. See, then normal people. This is a waste of time. I'm going my own way. Good luck, guys. Okay, Nora, Miss Independent. Do as you please. Then I'll be taking this road. Don't follow me. How did you go from like teamwork to instantly, hey, I'm gonna be on my own? Oh well, at least we got plenty of time. Where should we go, Blades? Maybe we can check out the... Y'all, impossible. Blades, what are you doing here? Hear me out, something dangerous is coming our way. <laughs> okay, where should we <laughs> I would just say, what is going on? I need you to focus, Blades, this is important. Going back to the orphanage will just put the other kids in danger. Listen to me. There's a fake statue to the north. Got it? There's a secret chamber underneath where you can hide. Hurry up. My time, our time, is running out. Why are you shaking? Why? Coco's just judging the hell out of us. <laughs> you want to go to the north? I suppose it's as good as any other path. Sure. Why is Coco judging? Coco has the squinty eyes like, what are, what are you doing? Why, why are you shaking? What's what's your problem, man? <laughs> hey, hey, Blades, look. There's something in the sky. Whoa, that's super huge. It's like a shooting star or something, huh? Might as well make a wish, Blades. Let's see. I wish for a completely normal, uneventful adventure. <laughs> oh man, that's I like how they're how they have the dialogue set up for this game because it's like they acknowledge that they're in an RPG. They acknowledge that you're not about to have like a normal adventure. You're about to go travel the world fighting dangerous monsters that could potentially kill you. And look at Coco. Okay, okay, like his wish backfired. His, his or hers? I don't even know. Coco, a guy or a girl? What is that thing? Is that a dragon? There's no way we can run from that. <sighs> yeah, because running towards a tree definitely would keep us safe, right guys? You were too slow, Blades. I told you to hurry. A dragon here of all places? Uh, my guy's just crying. <laughs> Calm down, kid. Might as well learn how to fight now. Help us on the way. I need you to hold on for a little longer. Do you understand? I have something for you. Ah, oh, take this. <laughs> Come on, take one of these. This shall be your companion for life, so choose wisely. Oh, we get to choose our starters, guys. You will use this to fight the dragon, even if it's just for a little bit. So the cool thing about Nexomon is you have nine, nine po or wow Pokemon, nine Nexomon to choose from. I don't know how many times I'm gonna say Pokemon in here, but honestly, I like the idea of, that we could choose a Ghost type. Like right off the bat, it was either between Ghost, Psychic, or uh, Rock, and I think I'm gonna just go with Ghost just because I like the, the I like the the whole look of it. It it's holding its head, guys. Sure, give a kid a creature that likes to take its head off. Now listen very carefully. Once this is all over, nobody can know about me, understood? Keep your mouth shut, Blades. I mean, I guess. You can do it, Blades. I believe in you. So what is up with this her, like, her being able to like freeze time or something? <laughs> My guy got some confidence now. He's like, oh. What the heck are you doing? Blades, are you insane? Come back here, please. I might be a little, but I have a Nexomon by my side. I can do anything. Okay, guys. Growloon. Growloon and our Nexomon's called Behilda. Oh, like beheaded or something like that. So, deals goes tight. And then Phantom Abyss. Oh, 50% chance to inflict a hex. We're going to do that. Oh. Oh. Okay. 
Okay, that was a pretty dope move. We do sure. I don't. We're not gonna beat this thing. It's level forty-five. We're level six. Up. Oh, see. I don't. They did that on purpose. Oh, I told you to stay back. Uh, <laughs> what do we do? There's no way we can beat a dragon. Look at the look at those tears. Uh, keep fighting. I like your guts, blades, <laughs> but not all fights are meant to be won. Come on, get in here. Oh, okay. That statue, it vanished. This is our chance to escape. <laughs> Coco's debating. He's like, do I get, go, do I go back and get blades? <laughs> do I save him? <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh, you just, you just threw me like that. Okay, how much I weigh? Like five pounds or something? Hey, blades, come on, wake up. We're safe now. So you tell me. Hmm. Maybe if I... Blades, your legs! The dragon got them! Uh, uh, my legs? <laughs> I need those. <laughs> Alright, calm down. Where did you get that Nexomon from? It's a secret. Yeah, I'm not gonna tell you yet, bro. Or sis. <laughs> a secret, huh? Hanging out with you is gonna be a lot of fun. Anyway, look at this place. What's up with this hidden chamber? We can't go back outside with that dragon out there. How about we explore a little? <laughs> Let us depart. A hero's legacy. Bum, 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 bum. I wish they had like a trumpet there. Or a trumpeteer just come out of nowhere and just be like, yes, <laughs> the hero's here. Okay. Hello, rough looking guy. Blades, was it? Nice to meet you, child. My name is... Well, it doesn't matter anymore. Eef, that's a ghost? This is some kind of tomb. <laughs> Relax, kid. I saved you just now from that dragon, didn't I? You waited until the last moment. Do you realize how traumatic that can be for a child? Anyway. <laughs> he like doesn't... He's like, like I was saying, guys. The dragon is now gone, so you can leave if you wish. What is this place anyway? My final resting place. I was once a tamer just like you. Wow, were you strong? <laughs> Not too shabby, I suppose. Did you hear that, Blades? He was a real tamer. He could teach us something. You know, that's not the normal reaction to meeting a dead person, right? You're, you're right. But sure, I could teach you how to catch an Exomon if you want. There's a good spot up ahead. We can use that. Okay. Literally nothing can go wrong by falling when a ghost into a dark cave. Oh, so look at these all. These are like pretty cool looking tamers right here. Especially the one with like the electric guitar. It looks like a Stratocaster. Oh, wow. Look at this, Blades. I wonder who these clowns were. They were the bravest warriors of my generation. And Spencer. Spencer must be that little that little kid right there like uh, frowning up, puffing like with his arms folded. He's like, Spencer was there, you know, a little punk. <laughs> All right. Oops. A super potion. Because that doesn't sound like something Pokemon related. Saving. Oh, thank you. Blades, you may not know this, but we live in perilous times. This world of yours is a horrible, disgusting, burning, depressing, broken. Yes, we, we get it. But if you know where to look, you will always find an Exomon. <laughs> can you see that shaking grass over there? There must be a wild Nexomon hiding in that spot. Approach it so we can capture it. And we got 10 Nexo traps. Enter the grass and I will show you how to use Nexo traps. This may be a complicated skill to master, but do we just weaken the Nexomon and then throw the trap? <laughs> Perhaps. <laughs> I like how we just like, I like how they interrupt each other. All right, we're gonna capture this next Omon Blades. Skunky. The most important step is to weaken your target. Go ahead and attack. Uh, Phantom Abyss, because we want to hopefully, ooh, that was a crit? That was a crit, okay. 
Not bad, Blade. I know that you're trying to skip this tutorial, so let's get this over with. Thank you. Press both L and R button, or the ZL or ZR, to open capture. The table shows a breakdown of your capture chance. There are a lot of factors involved, like your opponent's HP. You can also beat the next amount with various meals to improve your chances, but you can learn about that later. Alright, so, status, but, okay. That's pretty cool, so it's, it's better to beat them, inflict status, and then specific traps to use or something? Yeah, because now we have a 27% chance of capturing it. Oh, snap! Oh! That's... That's different. That's different, guys. You have to, <laughs> you have to input the, the buttons when you want to catch it. It's adorable appearance belies in foul smell, which is its main defense against opponents. Okay. Skunky, you join in a party. Kind of looks like a... Like Stunky and Skuntank. Well done. There's plenty more I'd like to teach you, but I'm sure your friends will be looking for you by now. I'm sure that we'll meet again, but until then, stay safe. This world is not as gentle as it used to be. When was it ever gentle, sir? All right, so we can go into like these wild spots. Ooh, Banling, and it's a wind type? I don't know how, uh, how types are really working in here. So let's uh, now try to capture you. Nah, we're not even going to feed you. We're just going to toss this thing. Oh, that was smooth, guys. You gotta, that was pretty smooth how I hit those buttons. You caught Fanling. Fast and elusive, which makes it difficult to catch. It's hopping movement generous. Hard to catch. I just caught it pretty easily. Its speed is 16. I don't, I don't know what's considered good stats at here. If only you had a pickaxe. Okay, so we can we can mine, basically? Hey, Blaze, what's up? Who were you? What if I told you that I was the greatest tamer in the entire world? You live in a hole. <laughs> Thanks, Coco. <laughs> oh, right. Feeding a Nexomon with a food item increases their capture chance. Each Nexomon has their own favorite meals. You can find lots of food items out there in the world and in stores. Here, kid, let me give you some so you can try it out. Oh, we got some lemon pies. Nice. You don't need to do this, but I suppose it'll make your job easier when you're hunting rare monsters such as dragons. Can you heal my neck, Salmon? Sure, I can spare some supplies. There you go. There's a camp to the west with medics that can help you, by the way. Please take care now, Blades. From my personal experience, things only get exponentially worse with this rider. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm pretty sure if we go up that ladder, we're going to hit a cutscene, guys. So I'm going to end this episode off here. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you leave a like for the video. It helps out the video a lot. And also subscribe to my channel if you have yet to subscribe. Because that way, it'll keep you updated on these videos I upload. And let me know that you guys appreciate the videos being put out. But with that said, guys, stay sharp. Later.